has to be even top to bottom top to bottom as you can see from here hello good morning my royal family my esteemed viewers and my subscribers at large it is a bright morning from here in the village it thanks the lord um, it has been raining but we are doing well right now Welcome back to my YouTube channel. My name is Sende underscore Mara. To the returning subscribers, thank you for always coming back to watch my videos. I don't take it for granted, good people. And if you are new here, consider to hit that subscription button or forget the notification bell to alert you whenever I upload a new video. Today, I just want to do an assignment. We do have an assignment from the CBC class. I did again, you know. My cousins are lucky. My niece, my niece and nephews are lucky that I am around. Every time they have given an assignment about the CBC class lessons, they will always come running to me. So today I just want to take you along on how we extract sisal from a, a sisal plant so that we can make a, a, a sisal skirt. They have been given an assignment to make a sisal skirt and I'm here at the farm. This is where we were plowing the other day or doing the harrowing that is the preliminary stage. And I'm here at the farm. I need to get a sisal. I don't know how it is called. I don't know how I should say I want to get a sisal baby. <laughs> how is it called? The inner part of a sisal plant. This is a sisal plant. This is what they use to mark boundaries here in the village or they use it to demarcate. To show where your plot or your land reaches. So this is what they use. This is a sisal plant. So I want to show you how we extract a sisal from this sisal plant in a local way. There is a, a way that they extract it, but I want to show you in a local way how they do it. So this is the plant. This is the sisal plant. It is on our boundary, so you need to get the food. Oh, okay, let me turn the camera and show you. This is the special plant I'm talking about. Uh, it is used to mark boundaries. So I want to get the inner part. The one that we use. See? you can see I, I have gotten enough of with of the size solar plant I need to go and extract or get the size from this size plant or size plant um, in a local way I need to show you how we do it here in the village so that we can get the size and make a size of cut plus a rope this is a, C a CBC assignment, so I'm helping my niece to do it. With me here, I have the sisal, the peel from the sisal leaf. So I have to slash it into small pieces from top to bottom. We do it this way, top to bottom. This is to make work easier while extracting sisal from it. You see how it looks? Go for another one. Top to bottom. Top to bottom. Until you are done. Or until you get the 
the amount you need top to bottom as you can see from here in the olden days they used uh, to slice these uh, sisal leaves or uh, sisal plant into pieces the same way I've done it then they will let it rest or um, after 14 days or two weeks they will take it to the river or at the downstream soak it completely in the water so that it can uh, soften up because once it is dry it is so hard so hard so difficult to break so old men especially my grandpa I used to see my grandpa he used to make uh, these um, traditional granaries for cereal storage so he would come with a lot of these sisal and slice them into pieces then tie them in a knot after 14 days once they are dry he takes them to the river or downstream and uh, they get soaked completely he comes back with them and starts building a granary with it using raptors and this uh, and ropes from uh, this sisal so this is the one way of making ropes in the olden days instead of using um uh nails you, you this is uh, what they used to tie around the raptors until today as we speak in a remote remote areas they still use this because they don't some can't afford nails some can't afford buying nails so they use this it's so 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 long lasting you tie around the raptors i think i will show you in, in our outdoor bath shelter local outdoor bath shelter i will show you how it is used keep tuned keep on watching so i need to continue slice slice hey my goodness i need to continue slicing this into pieces so that i can start extracting my sisal from it i'm almost done caution this the, the the juice from this plant uh is so 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 sensitive to skin depending the sensitivity of your skin so once you are done if you have a sensitive skin you just take a shower and apply a certain herb or there is an ointment if you have you just apply to, uh, to prevent it from uh, spreading to prevent it from to prevent your skin from having a rashes sort of uh, you see see how good looking they are so let's continue you see, the more I peel, the more it, the whiter it comes. So, if we uh, the look, so this is uh, not uh, mature. That's why it, is, it looks white in color. The green ones are the best, best for making rope and for extracting sisal from it. So, good people, let's continue. Once I'm done... I will show you how we extract. This is how we do it in a local way. I'm just doing this because of my niece, because of the CBC class, and her skin is so sensitive. You know, the CBC lessons here in the village, a lot of it is uh, about uh, handcraft, goods or items. There are quite a lot of things constructing and also coming up with that so they are mind innovative this is a syllabus that is all about job creation here in kenya that is the cbc we are almost done good people keep on watching comment like and share let me know from your end have you ever done this with me i did an 844 system so we never experienced such things but I used to see my sister, my elder sister. There is a, a lesson, a subject they used to call uh, art and craft. That's how I learned from her. But right now it is back. Well, before you can see, I'm done. I'm done slicing the size of. Now it is time to start extracting the sisal from the sisal plant 
or wherever people you have to tie around your hand caution <laughs> a reminder the juice from these uh sisal plants it is so 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 sensitive to the skin depending the the kind of skin you have so after that you have to do this this is what i'm going to use you have to step on the rock or somewhere so this is how you do it my goodness <laughs> my god my god you can see it is just it started coming out It is a tiresome job, but all in all, we have to do it. You can still get the sisal from the market. They do sell it, you see? Here's the sisal. They do sell it from the market. They sell it packaging. Good people, it is so hard because it is a, a mature one. step you will achieve whatever you need see you have the size on you go to the next one i think i should divide it this way and do it in a faster way yeah this is how it is done good people this is how we extract sisal from a sisal plant in a local way. It's a tiresome job, but you have to do it. If you don't have money to go and buy that tea, they do sell it at the local market. See, my sisal is here now. This is the first bunch. Let me go to the next one. This is how we extract sisal from a sisal plant. It is a continuous process until you are done. You have to use force. You have to use force in doing this.
some women do this to get cash so that they can buy food and the basics because uh, they once they do this get extract this uh, sisal they do go and sell at the market during market days I don't know a kg goes for around one fifty one dollar that is a kg of sisal My machine is broken. I don't know if I should call it a machine or a what. But I have enough. This is enough. These ones are enough to make the sisal uh, skirt rope. And in my next video, I'm going to show you how we make a sisal skirt. I now have the sisal. This one is enough to start making the the rope that I will I will use in making the sisal skirt. So once you have the sisal, this is how you do it. You see this way, then this way. You have to twist and alternate, twist and alternate. Just have to twist and alternate. Just twist and alternate. So I'm making a rope that I'm going to use to to do the sisal skirt. So this rope is part of the sisal skirt. You can see it has started shaking, taking shape. It has to be this size because it's the one that I we are going to to, to tie around the around the waist to make the sisal skirt. So it isn't all that big. So if you need a bigger rope for tying the goats or uh, even uh, calves, you just have to make it bigger. But this one is specifically, I need to use it to make the sisal skirt. Pure African village life handcrafted things cbc lessons this is how we make the rope this is how we make the rope this my rope is almost done because it is a small waist The same way we twist our hair here in Africa or in most saloons, it is the same way we make our ropes. So it isn't all that hard. You add more this way. Have to do this way. Then you twist. This is how you twist. It is that simple. The hardest thing to make is uh, is extracting the the sisal. That is the hardest, hardest thing. But with making the rope or knitting the rope, it isn't all that hard. I'm finally done. This is the length of the rope that I need for the sisal skirt. See you in my next video as I show you how we make the sisal skirt. This is a CBC assignment. I'm helping out my niece to do it. And today we are making the rope and 
I was showing you how we extract sisal from the sisal plants. Always comment, like, and even share.